first off, <laughs> can I say something? Welcome to parenthood. <laughs> this has to be like the longest day ever with, but just the reward of today. And congratulations. Thank to you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. And I mean, congratulations on the dance Thank and everything. You. But I mean, how do you, Nick, I want to ask you this. Down the road, I mean, like, how would you rank this? You've lived such an epic life. And mm -hmm. a moment like today that you get to share with America, with Lauren, and how is this going to, where is this going to rank? Uh, <laughs> definitely in the top, you know, five. I mean, yeah. I can't even rank it. It's just so precious and a great moment because that's what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be special and something that I could look back onto and my, you know, my wife could look back on, onto or my, my child could look back onto and, and, and see how much I actually loved, love his mom yeah. and how much I, how passionate I am about what I do and, and um, just all those things. You're beaming. You're beaming. You can see it, honestly. I mean... He's glowing. <laughs> that's right. Like that's crap, radiation. But he's glowing. Okay. <laughs> no, and Laura, for you, to, for it to be revealed on national TV, I mean, it doesn't get bigger than this. I mean, yeah. your thoughts after a day like this? I'm um, just blessed, grateful, humbled, flattered, uh, happy. Oh, it, I mean, it's like I got to go down the assembly line of asking all these things, but I wanted to talk to you about the dance because. Tonight was so epic for the for the two of you, for the three of you, for the four of you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it was so it was so epic that when you lifted her up on that first on the contemporary move, there was a breeze that came into the press room. It was just like that. It really it really was. Really? Yes. And it was it was, it was your night, honestly. Oh, I mean. Wow. Yeah, I, I'll tell you what. Things work in mysterious ways. You never know. Um, we waited a long time to to kind of get that tent that perfect score um i felt like it, it, I, I guess we earned it you know i felt like we got there and but it was just so many emotions you know from the news that we were announcing um to the work that we had put in up to this point mm -hmm. to to everything kind of just coming together and and hitting you know at one point at one time really it affected me and and, and i'm just happy that it turned out the way that it did. You know, and I was going to add to that, that with you being his coach and whatnot, week eight, and he finally gets that score. Is this the right time, actually? Because now we're starting to peak. Everyone is starting to get a little more serious about the show. Yeah, I mean, I guess if we look at it that way, for sure, you know, being week, week eight. But I think this was more the perfect moment because it was honestly the best that he has danced ever. You know, really? and this was especially tonight in the live show, it even went another level. And how much he connected to this and how perfect it was in its moment, it deserved a perfect score. Fantastic. Now, now Lauren, what's your favorite dance that he's danced for you this season? Yes, I said for yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it has to be hands down this one. Yeah. And then the team dance. Oh, oh yeah, this one in the team dance was just Nightmare epic. Before Christmas was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well said. Well, when let they me... were like crawling on the floor, it was so cool. Yeah. I know you guys have been up for so many hours, so let me get a quick fan question in. And this is from actually Dance 10 DWTS, and this is for you, Nick. What it would it mean to you to win Dancing with the Stars? Now that you got a baby Backstreet Boy in there. Oh. <laughs> um, I think when you start this process, it's a long journey that you you go you're on and there's so many ups and downs and when you get this far you you're really connected to it and you really you know you want to do the best that you can do you know and I and I, it would be very important you know to to win it for Sharna for just just for the work that she's put in and and for everything that we've done up to this point you know it it's not a time to give up. It's not a time to, it's a time to, to, to push forward and to dig deep down inside, you know, and, and find that thing within you that, that you never knew you were capable of doing. I guess it's like tying it into parenting, the toughest job you'll ever love. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and last one for you, Sharna. Put your money where your miracles are. Yes. What's going on? A fan wanted to know where can we get the shirts and whatnot. And talk about it, first off. Uh, it's really amazing. I'm working with Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, and uh, I've got a T-shirt. It's got my face on it. And uh, all the proceeds are going to Children's Miracle Network. And... Um, 
it's really exciting to do it. I haven't done anything like this yet, so it's awesome to see people supporting it and the love that they're giving for it. Um, Nick's been supporting it. I know some of the other celebs and pros have too. So uh, there's another eight days left. You can go to represent.com forward slash Shana and you will see the tea right there. It's around $20, uh, but it's for a great cause. There you have it. So now what we do learn on the counter three, we say buzz you later. So for our super fans, so for all five of us on the count of three, one, two, three, buzz, buzz you later. later. Keep them here.